Edgeview taking on Redlands East Valley, the Division II SoCal Regional here in Redlands at Citrus Valley High School. Trevor, the Wildcats and the Wolfpack just making their way onto the field. Here we go. Well, and here we are down on the field, and, and Pep, you know, me being from Sacramento, I kind of remember what this field turf is, but can you remind me what this is? Because we're so used to grass fields all over Kern County. I know, I remember, uh, well, obviously Griffith Field is the place where I spent many of Friday nights. When I moved down here to the Inland Empire, almost everybody has the artificial turf field. Almost everybody. I mean, if you see a grass field anywhere in the Inland area, it's like, well, what's going on with this school? I mean, this is the oddball, but up in Kern County, obviously, grass is more of the norm. And we were talking to head coach Dennis Manning, the fact that they're playing on turf. And I know he says that could play into his favor to a certain degree because he's got some fast guys. But Redlands East Valley's got some speedsters, too. And they love to play on turf because they like to play fast. Well, Pep, since you're the guy that kind of knows this team very, very well, why don't you give us a little bit more insight? You know, they've got Levette, they've got that big-time Wildcat wide receiver that's going to Oregon. Give us some insight on what this team is. As we get Kurt Brewer coming in right now. Let yeah, me stretch over. Hey, Coach, we're live. Come on in here, here we brother. We're, we're way up there. Hey. Say hello to everybody. How are we doing? Thousands across the world watching yeah. right now. Hey, Coach Brooke, uh, the Wildcats making their way onto the field here at Citrus Valley High School, taking on Ridgeview. And uh, we see, I mean, the million-dollar question, the elephant in the room is, is, is Armando Herrera, the quarterback, going to play tonight against Ridgeview? We're going to warm him up, and we'll see. We're going to make a game-time decision, a real game-time decision. Um, I'm going to see how he feels when he warms up, and then we'll go. You know, if he's got a lot of pain, I probably won't play him. 15 years old, man. 15 years old. How has this Saturday been? I mean, did you guys have like a team breakfast and kind of hang out all day? Yeah, you know what? We, we usually come in about noon. We've been doing it. Um, you know, we had like a school uh, a teacher day one day. We've had Thanksgiving. So we're used to this. You know, this is the third or fourth time we've had a no school day with the game. So you've had uh, six days to watch a video on Ridgeview. What are they doing well, and you know what are some of the challenges you guys face tonight? Uh, let's start with our offense. Uh, their running back is a stud. He he, he brings a load. Um, the little the little uh, slot kid number five. Um, he he's he's impressive. Their quarterback doesn't make a lot of mistakes, um, and he can run, which always presents problems. Running quarterbacks always present a problem for us, and they're they're solid in their blocking schemes. Uh, defensively, we got to find a way to block their nose guard. Um, he can he can get loose and, and cause problems. We're going to double him most of the game and, and try to make someone else, you know, sack us or beat us that way. Um, and then, um, you know, other than that, they're kind of a six seven box, uh, which which may free up our receivers a little bit if we can get the ball off. Now it's almost Christmas. I mean, we're deep into December now, and you're and you're still playing football. This has got to be a nice feeling for you, right? That's nice. My wife's upset. I just finally got Christmas lights up to today, this morning. I got up early and got the Christmas lights up. I can see her. She wasn't saying anything. She's being supportive, but at the same time, she had had enough. So uh, I got to remember it's Christmas as well for my family. Um, it's crazy, to be honest. It's, it's very, very crazy. Do you get much advice from your dad, Dick Bruick, in, in terms of preparing for a big game, or is he, you know, you've done this long enough now, it's not your first rodeo, that he just kind of turns you loose? He, he Only if I ask him, he'll say anything. Other than that, he just lets me go, you know. I mean, I've been around him so long that you know it is it, it is kind of a, a blessing to have him. But he he doesn't step on my toes in any way. All right, one final thing before we let you go, Coach. Um, unless Trevor has something to add, but what are the keys tonight against the Wolfpack? What do you guys have? What do you guys have to do well if you're going to bring home that W? Take care of the football. Um, don't give up a lot of sacks. Uh, tackle well and create a few turnovers. Got anything else, Trevor? Yeah, one last question, Kurt. What does this whole moment mean to you? And I know I talked to Dennis Manning, you know, just being able to give Ridgeview the first time here at the state level to be able to play on this stage, and here you are in a stadium that you're very well familiar with. What does this mean to you and the program to be here for the first time and maybe, you know, get this ball rolling just a little bit more here at Redlands East Valley? Uh, like I told the kids today, I'm honored to be the first San Bernardino County team to make this happen. I, I don't want to be the team that th where the next team can say, yeah, they got there, but we got farther. I we want to finish this. We really do. Merry Christmas, Coach. Thanks. Appreciate you, Pep. All right. The great Kurt Brewick from Redlands East Valley. We appreciate the time. He's a good dude. I mean, who would have thought? He spent the morning putting up Christmas.